to me, it seems like these days the pro-abortion movement is getting more and more desperate since the overturning of Roe v. Wade to try to convince people that abortion is necessary and that women need it in order to be successful. <laughs>
actions, your actions have consequences. This is like what we've been taught since we were two years old. Um, but no one talks about, about the well-being of a woman pre-pregnancy. It's only all of a sudden when the mother wants to go have an abortion, oh, you have to think about her health, you have to think about her well-being, X, Y, Z. Why don't we talk about women's health before they get pregnant? Why don't we talk about women's health after uh, postpartum when they give birth? It's only when it's convenient for them to talk about the health and safety of a mother. For example, when a mother wants to purposely go and murder her unborn child in the womb, all of a sudden it's women's health. We're concerned about women's um, uh, well-being and their mental state, but not, you know, pre-pregnancy and postpartum when they don't fit the agenda of the pro-abortion left because the majority of them are pro-abortion and that's the people who are advocating for abortion constantly they don't care about that you know pre-pregnancy women's health care nobody cares postpartum uh depression there's like no little to no research on that to help women even though women some women do commit suicide uh having postpartum depression they don't care about that they just care about what is fitting their agenda and it's absolutely disgusting because women who advocate for the pro-abortion movement who have called themselves pro-choice for some reason don't see that they're just being used and that these people who want to give you the so-called right to have an abortion do not care for your well-being at all they don't see it as quote unquote health care they see it as money 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 the abortion industry bringing in a lot of money they don't care about your health and the sooner that the pro-abortion women wake up and realize that they're being lied to and they have this pro-abortion movement has a facade in front under the name of women's health care the easier it's going to be to fight abortion women have freedom just not to murder their unborn babies women have bodily autonomy just not the freedom to murder their unborn babies they have these things so to say they don't have bodily autonomy when they're pregnant or um when they decide to have an abortion they don't have x y and z no they have it you just don't have the ability to murder your unborn child what's the big deal I think the bottom line is that they need to get through their head is that they never had a right to an abortion ever nowhere but for some reason you tell someone a lie over and over and over again and for generations for 50 years for five decades people start to believe that it was a right when it was never there it's kind of like a like a phantom right a phantom feeling right um some people have phantom limbs um amputees sometimes have phantom limbs pro-abortion women <laughs> have a phantom right right it doesn't it's not there because you had an arm or a leg for so long you get amputated you still feel like it's there it's the same thing goes for abortion <laughs> so that's what i think we should call it um it's your phantom right is showing <laughs> non-existent when they keep calling abortion their right or they don't have these liberties like she keeps saying you're saying you're not given the liberty to murder unborn babies that like that's really what you're advocating for at the end of the day right what an abortion does is end the life of an unborn child terminate a pregnancy um thinking for some reason when they say it terminates a pregnancy it's any less horrific and disgusting as just saying you're murdering an unborn child um it's the same thing right but that's what the pro-abortion movement tries to use is try to dehumanize 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 so of course they're gonna say oh it's not murdering an unborn baby it's not ending in the life of an unborn child it's simply terminating a pregnancy deception Upon deception upon deception and to end the video off with it being all just a whole bunch of emotional damage thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video make sure to leave a comment 
like and subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. Um, we will see you, Lord willing, in the next video. Remember that Jesus is Lord and abortion is murder. See you next time. Bye.